And there is the slow recovery stage, the last one. So first of all, we need to think about the glycogen. And if you had a really long, intense exercise, one meal, even if it's going to be the best meal in the metabolic window, would not give you the ability to refill all the glycogen because it's a lot. So you need to understand that sometimes it's going to take you 24, 48 hours to recover from the exercise in order to be in, a, in the best shape again to be able to perform. So what we know is, first of all, you need to make sure that you continue to drink after the exercise because you are continuing to sweat at least four hours after the exercise. I don't know if you noticed, but I guess some of you finished the exercise, went to the shower, went out and whoa, everything was wet again. So we are continuing to sweat. And even if you don't feel it, you need to continue to drink. How much? You're supposed to drink two cups of water for every pound that you lost during the time of the exercise. So that could be a really nice drill. Weight yourself before starting the exercise. Weight yourself right after the exercise. Just try to understand how much you lost in sweat. So the number at the end of the exercise is not how much fat you lost, but it's definitely a marker to show you how much you're supposed to continue to drink and drink even if you don't feel thirsty. And another thing is that because we said that even one good meal after endurance exercise could be not enough because you need to refill the glycogen store and that's going to take longer than one meal. So for endurance exercise, there is six hour of metabolic window, meaning you're supposed to eat every two hours after the exercise within a gap of six hours after finishing the exercise in order to help your body recover in the best way. So if you are doing like a race or you're doing a really intense exercise, even if it's not just one thing, for example, if you're cycling and running and swimming, triathlon or something, and or you're just doing different classes, if it's long time, I mean, if it's one after another, maybe you need a longer time to recover and you need to plan your food eating every two hours on those days. Because what happened usually is that you're having the good meal after the exercise and you feel good about yourself, but then like an hour and a half, two hours later, you're starting to feel hungry and you say, but I know I ate, I'm not supposed to be hungry. So you're not eating, but eventually you're gonna see the cake or the chocolate or whatever, and you're gonna grab it. So if you know that you've been exercising and you're gonna need more food, plan to have a good meal every two hours. Don't let yourself just grab whatever you have. If your body needs it, plan to have a good source of food. So it can be a sandwich, that, not necessarily the size of a sandwich that I would recommend, but that could be a, an example. Um, so a sandwich, for example, with egg, tuna or cheese, uh, cereal, muesli. I mean, just mix yogurt and uh, um, cereal with milk and granola and a little bit of fruits. Those are examples for the meals after the metabolic window if you need to continue to eat every two hours. So it can be also a hot meal if that's what's supposed to be on your day, but just make sure that the timing when you eat is according to the time of the exercise. Eating every two hours after the exercise in a time gap of six hours. So if I want to summarize everything I just said here, what I want you to remember is, first of all, that food's supposed to support you. Food's supposed to help you. The, the, the program, the training program is the first thing. The food is the second. So think about timing. When are you supposed to eat before and after and during if you're planning to eat something? and choose the right kind of food, meaning when it's supposed to be simple carbs, when it's complex carb, when it's the protein, when it's the fat. So the healthy fat could come in the metabolic window because every, every time I'm giving this lecture, somebody is raising their hand, what about fat? 
So fat could be in, in the metabolic window, but we don't want it to interfere during the time of the exercise. So not right before the exercise, not during the exercise. So if you're going to eat right, I definitely think you're going to feel the change. Your body is going to be able to perform in a much higher level. But it's not just about performance. It's also about recovery. And being able to do a great exercise and to get up the next day, not feeling sore, that's a great feeling. And definitely food have a lot to do with it. So make sure you're eating according to the right guidelines in order to feel your best. Thank you.